Okay, this is the first running uh, version of the lunar clock. It's just the signs of life at this point. So you can see I've got an Arduino Mega, I've got a uh, CC3000 Wi-Fi card, and in between I've got a SparkFun Transmorgra shield, which um, moves the uh, SPI bus pins around because they changed their position in the Mega versus the Uno. And then I've got a set of four transistors here that are actually running the stepper motor. And I've got an opto interrupter, which I'm not going to really show in this video. And then over here I've got a stepper motor, and fastened onto it is my first uh, Pinoco project here. Uh, you notice the laser cut holes for the bolts for the uh, hub turned out beautifully, as did the little slot for the uh, opto interrupter. I'm going to have to mechanically mount that opto interrupter so it sees that slot. One thing I noticed now that I've put this on the stepper motor is that the disc has quite a bit of play when the motor isn't energized. And I was hoping that wouldn't be the case. I may have to energize the motor all the time, which is going to consume quite a bit of power. But so, uh, now I'll show you what happens here when I reset the board, is that the sketch running on the Arduino is going to try to find the slot, uh, find where the opto interrupter is. And since it isn't connected, it'll just run for a little while and then give up. But so, this gives you an idea of how smoothly it runs, how smoothly the stepper motor runs, and there it stopped. And so once again you can see this quite a bit of play here because the motor isn't energized.